All right, ladies and gents, so what we are going to be doing today is creating uh, a light sensitive emulsion or liquid made from good old turmeric and 99% rubbing alcohol. These are our two main ingredients for this process. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, it's probably the only space that have the lighting and room to do this. But let's go ahead and get things started. So these are the main things that you're going to need. Watercolor paper, tape down a little bit, some nice clean edges hopefully. Um, you're going to need some plastic cups, coffee filter, your two main ingredients, and some good lighting because who doesn't need that? So I'm going to go ahead and... So uh, my good old video cut me off, which I think is kind of rude, but that's okay. Uh, what I did at the cutoff, I put turmeric and rubbing alcohol to create this lovely mixture. It is a strong yellow dye that happens to be photosensitive. So I'm gonna move this out of the way because I don't want to stain it just yet. So what we are doing right now is we're getting ground turmeric and rubbing alcohol to go ahead and make our mixture in here. Um, right now, there's a lot of turmeric that's settling. It's a little bit kind of uh, grainy, but what we're gonna do is filter it and kind of get just the liquid part. We only need that anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. That is a good So what we're gonna be doing is straining our mixture, currently it's doing that right now, of turmeric and rubbing alcohol. It is gonna give me a good chunk and I need that um, to have enough to coat three papers. So that's what we're shooting for today. We're hoping that we're gonna get enough. Um, so I'm gonna let this coffee filter do its thing. It's gonna take some time. I don't want to force it either. So I'm gonna gently squeeze. I don't want it to overflow. I feel like I might kind of milk in a cow right now. I know, don't get me wrong. I'm from Texas, never done that. But this is gonna give us enough dye to work with and it's gonna be great. So uh, once we get this, this reminder just is rubbing alcohol and turmeric, there is no particular measurement. Um, just as a reminder, the more alcohol you put into it or any dilutant, um, they have mentioned vodka and I don't drink so that's not gonna happen here. Um, so I'm putting good old rubbing alcohol, it's something I have because that's the first aid kit that I carry with me. I've always got rubbing alcohol. That's just a safe method. So right now I think I have strained enough to coat three papers, which probably even more. Um, but I have squeezed what I could off of this. I'm gonna get my other cup back in the shot. Dump that. I'm gonna have to clean a little bit and that's no problem. Um, I will come back just really quickly and show you how I coat this and uh, we'll go from there. So we are back. I am gonna go ahead. I have my light sensitive solution. It does not really, <laughs> it looks like someone's really dehydrated. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and Kind of coat my watercolor paper with this with a foam brush because we want a nice clean application of this material and what i'm going to do immediately afterwards is i'm going to go ahead and um, kind of put it in a dark area i don't want to expose it to really much any light this light is okay if i'm doing it really quickly um, but i do not want to leave it out in daylight because that starts the exposure process so my mixture of rubbing alcohol once again and turmeric is being painted on there it leaves a vibrant and beautiful yellow 
but um, I did a test run with this. It doesn't stay yellow. Um, we actually put um, a bit of borax to it to go ahead and kind of stop the exposure, which I think is really a cool thing to see. And you'll see a bit of that um, in my video um, as near the end so that you can kind of see what actually happens with this. I think it's pretty darn fun. So I have coated this guy to my liking. And there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and do that with my other two papers um, and then kind of call it a day, let them dry and do what they need to. All right, welcome back. I have kind of given you a walkthrough of what I did just a little bit with my paper. And this has rubbing alcohol and turmeric. Now what I'm gonna do is show you just really quickly the sandwich that I'm gonna make um, and hopefully I can get a result. So I am gonna use kind of like some cardboard backing um, as the back part, obviously it's backing. Um, I'm gonna use this as the back part to kind of just keep things a little stable. So I have that going down first. Next thing I have, uh, I'm gonna expose it in the sun and they say that having black underneath it can cause some problems and we don't want problems because it can cause it to heat up unnecessarily. And I think that's more so for the leaf one of the chlorophyll prints, but we're not gonna take any chances here, are we? The next thing I've got that I'm gonna sandwich in is my paper that I have that liquid solution in. Next thing I've got, and my print is quite sticky. It's a little odd. Um, let me get some back part to it so you can see it just a bit. This is an old photo I took, um, and I'm gonna leave the ink part on top of it. And I'll show you guys the sandwich that I'm gonna get for a minute, um, just so you can kind of see how it's layered on top. But I don't want the ink touching the paper, so, um, and I don't, don't want it touching my glass. I'm also gonna use a bit a, a little bit of plexiglass on top just to secure it a bit more. And my good old dollar store cheap glass. So currently, that's what I've got going on right there. Um, I'm gonna sandwich it all together and fingers crossed we get something. Um, in order to kind of keep a tight seal on it, we are going to get a bit of the clamps on there. We need a, just, we want a close connection to it. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp every edge that I possibly can and pray to the earth gods that this works. I've seen it. I've seen other people do it. I just want to be able to do it myself. So we've got things clamped on there just to try to get it as tight as we can. Like that's not going to hurt anyone to get it as tight as we possibly can. How can that hurt? So I've got this. I've got backing. I've got white paper. I've got my exposed paper or my emulsion paper. Um, I've got some good old you know, glass on top of it, and we're gonna see what happens tomorrow. I'm gonna do it out in the sun right now. I'm recording at nighttime, so there's no sun to do this. Um, but in the morning, we'll have some UV rays that we can work with to go ahead and try to expose this picture. I will show you what happens afterwards. As of right now, I gotta do some cleanup, so stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that next part as soon as the morning comes. Alright, so I went ahead and did my first actual print for my anthro uh, type print. It is an image on top, so it was baking out and the sun finally came out, so that was some good news. I left it out for roughly about three and a half hours because the sun really came in uh, pretty good near the end. So I, if I'm not mistaken, should have an image here which you guys will get to see in just a tiny bit. I have an image there. Um, let's see how it comes out, you guys. 
So what we need to do, because this is good and all, but I do want it to come out a little bit more, and that requires the use of some borax. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my measuring cup and roughly about two spoonfuls of borax. Actually, I'm gonna do three. I think I had done three the last time and that worked out really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And some water. And just mix this really quickly. I would use a spoon, a plastic spoon, just so that you can kind of get rid of it afterwards because I don't feel like you'll need it, but you never know. Especially when you're mixing stuff, I wouldn't want this. So, now that I've got my borax and water mixed, we can go ahead and kind of stop the exposure that we've got going on here. So, let's see if we kind of put a light amount of it on there and then kind of slosh it around. And what the borax is going to do is it's going to go in there and darken things up for me. Um, as you guys can see, there is, there's an image there. Um, it's not, let's see if I can throw some more borax. what we've got. We have an image, it is there, and to kind of completely stop that process, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this fella out in some good old cold water. So it will take some time to dry up, but we've got a printer.